evening. Thanks for joining us tonight. Family members of the man who attacked shoppers at a St. Cloud Mall say they are devastated. 22 year old Dahir Adan went to the Crossroads Mall with a knife on Saturday. Witnesses say that he approached random people and began stabbing them. Off duty Avon police officer Jason Falconer shot and killed Adan. President Barack Obama called Falconer today to thank him. The FBI is looking into the attack as a potential act of terrorism. Interfaith community leaders condemned Adan's actions today. They asked everyone in St. Cloud to stay united. As Nina Moyni reports, Adan's family expressed shock about what happened as they mourned their son's death. We are devastated by the incomprehensible tragic event of last Saturday. An attorney for the family of Dahir Adan read the words they want all Minnesotans to hear, grieving the loss of their son, understanding he caused many people great harm. We pray for their early and speedy recovery. A top community leader, Haji Youssef, who has been working with the family of the attacker since Saturday night, told WCCO Dahir Adan left his family apartment to go pick up his new iPhone at the Crossroads Mall. The family says he may have been wearing a security guard uniform because he was currently working as a security guard. But the security firm Securitas issued a statement that Adan had resigned in June of 2016 from his part-time job with them. He had been assigned to the St. Cloud company Electrolux Home Products. The community leader also said the family told him Adan was enrolled as a student at St. Cloud State. But St. Cloud State said he had been enrolled between 2014 and the spring of 2016 and was no longer a student. We are in deep shock as everyone else is in the state of Minnesota. The FBI is looking into the attack as a potential act of terrorism. The family can't understand what happened between the time he left home and the time he stabbed nine people and was killed by an off-duty officer inside Macy's. Our family loves St. Cloud and this great state of Minnesota. The family also asked for privacy and said they'll continue making statements through their attorney. They stressed they are committed to fully cooperating with law enforcement during this investigation, Amelia. All right, Nina, thank you.